In just the last hour, we got an update on the water shortage emergency in Bardstown. It looks like crews expect things to be back to normal at some point tomorrow morning. WDRB's Darby Bean shows us what people are expected to do until then. There is still water available and city officials say it's safe to drink and use, but they're asking people to conserve water the best they can for the time being. During a week with freezing temperatures and snow still on the ground outside Bardstown's water treatment plant, the city says weather is to blame for equipment failure early Wednesday. We had a pipe break. Uh, in the basement of our water, water treatment facility. Bardstown City Administrator Aaron Bowles says that put more than 10 feet of water in the basement, submerging two of the four pumps there. The cold water in this pipe it just happened to find that one weak spot and it broke the pipe. Bowles says the pipe is repaired and water has been pumped out of the basement, but the system isn't back to full function just yet. The city has declared a water shortage emergency, asking people to conserve water. I got a phone call about 2 p.m. yesterday and the city was asking all the car washes to shut down. Safari Falls car wash owner Dakota Hoskins says with salt on the road, this is a busy time of year. It was really unfortunate to have to close right now. But instead, he sent employees home and now has a sign out front letting customers know he's closed until the water treatment facility is back up to full speed. They've asked us to close their Sunday. Um, they are hopeful that the situation gets better when it open sooner. Nearby, Heaven Hill says it's working with the city to ensure Sure water is available for essential services and taking steps to minimize its water usage across its modeling and visitor center facilities. Bowles says homeowners shouldn't see a disruption with service. Uh, what we're just asking is that people be aware of what they're using and uh, try to cut back as much as possible. Bowles recommends turning the water off while brushing your teeth, taking quicker showers, and waiting to run the dishwasher or washing machine if possible. For those dripping their faucets during this cold weather, the city says that is still fine to do and it won't be enough water to make an impact. Reporting with photojournalist Ian Cunningham, Darby Bean, WDRB News.